Hi, this is Dr. Ruby Payne. So what is the inner child? I mean, you hear all about it, my inner child, my inner child, or the core self. One of the things is it's how we developed our understanding of emotional realities. It happens very young, okay? Uh, and it's based on a progression. And part of the researchers here was a gentleman named Eric Erickson, who researched the psychosocial development of human beings. And there are some fairly predictable patterns that you go through when you develop your inner self. And it impacts then how you interpret and negotiate emotional realities. One of the things we know is that birth to first years of life, you are kind of figuring out where you are on the trust distrust continuum. Do I trust the adults around me? Do they keep me safe? Do I belong? Uh, if so, as I grow up to be an adult, I will trust authority because I simply believe it makes keeps me safe. On the other hand, if I didn't, then I develop more distrust. Years two and three, it's about autonomy versus shame. So this is when you're potty trained. This is how you learn to use your body. This walk, talk, eat, all of that, okay? And basically what we know is that you have to be able to do those things to be autonomous. A two-year-old's favorite word is no. And one of the things we know is that gets developed. So if you do find out that you develop more ability to take care of yourself, then as an adult, that's a tendency for you. Four and five, curiosity, uh, inquisitiveness, lots of questions. Two and three, you're busy watching yourself. Four and five, other people. Why do they get to do that and I don't? And if you try something and it doesn't work, then you can feel guilty for it, okay? You hit the school and it's about performance, both your academic and athletic performance. And so one of the things that you're doing there is industry, does work help me? Does it work for me? Or failure, do I feel like I'm insecure in this? I can't do it and inferiority. So it's industry versus inferiority. After you hit puberty, then it's identity versus role confusion. Who am I? What do I do? Uh, do I know that? I try it on. I can have a good idea of who I am. If I can develop identity in that frame, then when I get past 18, then I start developing uh, intimacy. Uh, I can be who I am in relationship to another, etc. versus social isolation. What we know, these inner selves, how you begin to interpret this reality then, become a motivator for behavior. Because if you believe I can do it, then you will try every time. If you believe, nope, I'm not, I, I can't do this, then that will be an approach to many tasks. And your inner self then becomes the way that you decide how you will, it becomes a motivator for your behavior.